Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the SkyCam network across central Alabama from Coleman. Some fog out there this morning, expected to burn off by mid-morning. But when we look at the Russellville SkyCam, we can see that there is a little bit of hope that we might see some breaks in the clouds by the afternoon. The frontal system that has been plaguing us with rain for the last couple of days is finally moving to the southeast, and with it, it is taking much of the showers and rain. You can see that around 6 a.m., echoes were all pretty much to the east and south of the Montgomery area. We're still watching the trough that's a little bit further to the west, but it looks like with the moisture decreasing that even though the as the trough comes across the Mississippi River, that it won't be uh, doing much in the way of uh, enhancing any kind of precipitation. Still pretty cold across the central plains with uh, that blue area there with single-digit values and actually some getting down into the minus region. We're uh, not too terribly warm here, but not too bad either. Uh, temperatures generally around... Uh, the upper 40s for the most part. I noticed Tuscaloosa is at 52 for one of the warmer spots. Rain has been certainly an issue for much of uh, February, and it looks like we're going to go out on a bit of a wet note still with another uh, rain chance coming in, especially on Monday. And with that Monday rain chance also comes uh, some risk of a severe weather uh, situation. Uh, looks like Pretty much uh, one we've been dealing with here recently that uh, much of the instability will be down along the Gulf Coast. And it's going to be a question as to exactly how far north uh, the warmth and the moisture and the instability can go. But that's one of those things we've been dealing with a lot. All right, let's take a look at the 06 GFS model run. And there's certainly some model differences out there, but we'll talk a little bit about those as we move along. Here's the uh, pattern for... Sunday, and you can see that uh, we're, uh, we should be coming under a ridge on Sunday, and that should mean that we have at least one good day before the rain gets here on uh, Monday. At the surface, of course, we'll be dealing with uh, a high-pressure system centered over uh, the Illinois-Indiana area, and uh, that will be allowing us to see a little bit of sun and have a fairly pleasant day. That fairly deep trough uh, comes our way on Monday uh, by 18Z. It's over uh, the north central Texas area and approaching the Miss lower Mississippi River Valley. So a surface low is expected to form and uh, be in southeast Oklahoma. Uh, however, the GFS is painting kind of a double-barreled low here with another surface low possibly over the southwest part of Louisiana. You can see the GFS is suggesting that the warm front will stay at least by 18Z. The warm front will be somewhere uh, in southern uh, the southern half of Alabama. Uh, however, the uh, um, looking at the European, the European has a pretty good uh, position on it too, although it's not painting uh, quite as much in the way of a double-barreled low. So a little bit uh, less complications. The thing about uh, the GFS, of course, is that uh, much of the instability, when we look at CAPE values, uh, the, much of the instability appears to be down uh, along the Gulf Coast. Uh, and even when we look at uh, some of the bulk shear values, um, that's suggesting, of course, that the front would be up a little bit further to the north. So, again, the question's going to be, and one we're going to have to watch, is the models more or less uh, kind of come into better agreement and a little better focus on the overall development of that storm system. Uh, the negatively tilted trough comes by us on Tuesday, so that means uh, while the clouds will probably stick in here because of the large surface low and the wraparound moisture that comes with that, and we may see a few sprinkles, looks like one of those days where we're probably not going to see much in the way of a temperature change. Uh, temperatures probably staying primarily in the 40s uh, with highs struggling to see 50 degrees. The overall troughiness over the eastern half of the country uh, sticks with us, even though the main impulse moves up into the eastern Great Lakes. And so that means that we're going to be ushering in some colder weather as we head into the latter part of February, the late part of February, and into early uh, March. You can see with that surface low over the eastern Great Lakes area, the 540 thickness line down into uh, 
North uh, Alabama, so definitely some colder air coming our way. That northerly flow and northwesterly flow continues as we see slight uh, little disturbances coming through that flow that will be reinforcing, reinforcing it. And you can see the 540 line still down into uh, northern Alabama on uh, Thursday. As that northerly flow gets reinforced nicely on Friday, we should see the uh, temperatures um, stay pretty chilly for the end of the week. And as we get into the 1st of March, you can see the GFS suggesting that the 540 line uh, makes it all the way down uh, to the Gulf Coast area. Now, there are some model differences here. The European is not suggesting uh, quite that cold. Uh, we'll go to Saturday here, and you can see that the cold pattern continues. The fi uh, 540 line now well down into southern Florida. So that is extremely cold and maybe a little mischief going on here with a little bit of precipitation. Certainly nothing in the way of any significant kind of snow that might occur, but something we'll need to be watching. But let's look at the European briefly, and this is for Saturday at 12Z. You see the European's not nearly as cold. The 540 line certainly going to be chilly, but the 540 line making it only down into South Alabama, according to the European. So we'll have to be watching that. Now, going out into voodoo country even further, uh, we seem to stay pretty chilly for the first several days of March as the, the overall trough over the east coast uh, stays with us, and that keeps us in a nice a northerly fetch for our air movement. And then as we get into the 9th of March, we see that we get under a substantial ridge, so it looks like a very nice warm-up. But by the end of the period, around the 11th of March, or this is 10th of March, actually, we see that we have a very deep upper low moving out of the central Rockies, and that could be the potential for a severe weather situation. But as you know, we're getting into voodoo country here, so well out into voodoo country. So it's something we'll kind of be watching and see how that develops. Well, thanks for tuning in. I expect to have the next uh, Weather Extreme video posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that your Saturday is a good one, and certainly get ready to enjoy Sunday before we have more rain on Monday. Have a great day, and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.